We start tonight's story in the island of Talunan, in the village of Iraga, near Mount Mayon. Medj, tell us a bit, right. a little bit uh, about Karim. Um, and describe him. Karim is a carabao tiefling, a bit muscular in build. Stands about six foot five uh, with his horns that are pretty well, it's kind of long now since he's kind of in that age right now. Mm. Not the smartest one, still got some something to, to prove. Um, yeah, he, he's usually. The uh, laughing stock of the, the group, but he tries. He tries. And brown skin with black eyes, jet black hair, and the half of its hair has um, streaks of red. He usually wears this kind of, uh, uh, or it's more of like the basic clothing that they have whatever it is there you wake up this morning um, you have been looking forward to this day this is the day that Laga and the troop the Pulang Pantalon or how do you pronounce it? sorry the Pulang Pantalon, Pantalon. no <laughs> Laga and the Pulang Pantalon return to town everyone um, for, for the benefit of the audience, everyone in town idolizes the ch- their champion Laga and the Pulang Pantalon are the group of warriors that are that fight alongside him and one of them and uh, in the event that, that the champion is defeated, retires, etc. one of them normally replace him uh, with the help of the, the spirit choose the spirit of in town choosing the next champion it's every little boy's and young man's dream to be the next champion and they do know that to become that they must first join the group karim uh, this is the day that they come back from one of their adventures uh, you hear you hear the commotion from outside you hear uh, the women in town screaming the little the, the the men also just walking out just you know want, wanting to greet the group um, is there anything you do uh, just waking up I I, I uh, quickly gather all my stuff and I'm like they're here, they're here. They're finally here. Alright. Um What should I do? Um pants. As you say that you hear from the other room your dad. Son! Who are you talking to? Who's that? Um no I'm just, I'm just getting yeah, have you seen my pants? The red one. No, it's kind of. Uh, it's a little darker. <laughs> yes, the red one. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know either. Way. Hey, Dad, you, you coming? They just uh, the pulang pantalon just arrived. I mean, whew. pulang pantalon, man. Too old for that shit. You're, you're you're never you're never too old for for you're never too old for those. Go Damn. ahead, go ahead. I'll be back. Uh, I'm just after I, I get my pants. All right. So I uh, I gather my stuff and I briskly walk out of the the house and and join up with the. Uh, the gathering there, whatever, to welcome them. 
All right, as you walk out, you, you see what you expect. Everyone's there. The the group proudly walking. The champion, just this this tall human, also kind of bulk, wearing full armor, sword and shield, with the most dashing smile you've ever seen in, on anything. Just shaking hands of everyone. You know, just the most charismatic thing in the world. Um, behind him, though, Polang uh, Pantalun, what does he see? Let's start with Migi. <laughs> what is shit? Okay, so um, directly behind the champion, just kind of with a permanent, uh, just a permanently blank expression, does not care about anything. You see a six foot five tall. Um, a very muscular build uh, Karabao Tiefling in uh, he has his shield currently strapped across his back he's carrying a uh, he's carrying a uh, songil spear uh, dressed in full armor and uh, the color of his under uh, his under tunic and the um, the fabric that hangs across his belt is uh, colored red to signify that he is part of the group. Wait, Jan? Okay. Um, maybe behind the whole troop, not immediately right behind the champion, but behind the whole group, not too far off, is um a male human with about not too tall maybe about five eight um athletic but but lean um he's wearing leather armor and he's got a chris short sword on one side and a baladao dagger on the other and he's just walking in enjoying the attention I mean, he knows that most of the attention is on on the champion, but because he's part of the group, yeah, he has the similar red pants. Um, he's just enjoying the attention and waiting at whoever notices. That's Magat, by the way. His uh, character is Magat. He got like a, a ring that acts like a like a like a magical focus. Is he a three foot tall mango? Kathleen. She has brown skin, um, has pattern of what looks like mangrove leaves down her arms. She's winding her way in between the legs to party mates. Dish. All right. So uh, Rin is like uh, somewhere in the middle. Um, she is 5'4", so she's slightly taller than the normal human uh, in this city. Um, she seems mostly a human, but then if you know, look at her ears, they seem to be slightly bigger. So she's a half elf. Um, she's clad in clothing on with red and yellow robes. Her sash is red, and also her pants are also red. And she's sort of walking like she doesn't mind anyone. She doesn't really care about anything. She just wants to move forward. She doesn't care too much about the crowd. She doesn't seem to like know people also in this village even though she's been here and training for a long time but uh she doesn't seem to acknowledge anyone even her party mates and her her build is kind of muscled from training and behind her there's sort of something like a staff that she carries so yeah that is written can't believe i'm gonna say this but as they make their way downtown <laughs> no, but that's how, but, but but that's what they're doing, okay? <laughs> as as they make their way downtown, um, again, everyone just trying to get trying to trying to touch them. They're like me, you know, like that. Except for the champion, is like you know, like just charisma all over <laughs> um they are just gonna pass where you you are karim is there anything you want to do 
No, I, I just look at each one of them. Starstruck and uh, just stand there as they pass by. As you're doing that, some from the side, someone suddenly tackles you. Ah. But you're, you, you know, you're like you're strong enough to. Like, then. Oh wait. Oh. And then it's your friend. Oh. Yeah. Like, oh, so hey, are you gonna challenge? Today's the day. I thought it was tomorrow. It doesn't matter. You can do it any day. But they're here now. They're probably tired. <laughs> are you tricking me? You want me to call them? Oh, I, 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 I know you. You're trying to trick me. You've been practicing the whole year. This is... You have to do this now. The invitation for the tournament is coming soon. The Pulang Pantalon is gonna leave. You want to be part of the group when they leave. Where do I sign up? No, you just, just go there and then... Okay. Tell them. Um, which... So I'm looking here. Which way? Should I, should I just follow them? Yeah. Alright. Um, and he I'm goes, Hey you! Guy with the horns! I, I immediately oh. look that way. And then he hides behind Karim. I try to hide from... I'm... Tall, so I I don't know. I'm gonna try to. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of I kind of break away from the from the group and I head over towards where I saw the where I heard it and I. The only thing I see is like the only the person that I recognize the most is Kareem because he's like taller than everyone else. So I go up and then I. I kind of put my, my, uh, I have my spear at my side. Also, Hakum, with your, back. with your passive perception, you didn't even see the friend, like, just dodge out. Yeah. He's gone now. Yeah. So, I just go up, and I kind of straighten myself, look down at Karim. I think I'm taller than Karim. I'm like a taller than Karim. I'm also 6'5". Oh, think. then, yeah. I'm, we're, we're like eye to eye. We're like eye to eye, and I'm like... I'm looking down. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell do you want, half breed? Hmm? Hmm? Me? What? Yeah. Um. um hi. No. <clears throat> it's, it's, you feel a stone hit your back, Karim? You want to start something? You usually talk to our company with a lot more respect than you just did. That wasn't me. That was um, him over there. Hey, you, you're the one who... I, I just I point to somebody. <laughs> somebody else. So <laughs> the person just ah, like him, him. eating his bread. Like... <laughs> see, see? He's looking I just, guilty. Look, I, I just, Luke. I just keep looking at Kareem. The next time you want to talk to me or anybody else in my company, you do it with more respect. Got it? Yeah. <clears throat> yes, um, Hakum. Yes. I turn around. And I go back to the group. Oh wait, can, can I ask a question? As you turn around yeah. the home, you feel a stone hit you from the back. <laughs> it was <laughs> it was so <laughs> That's a natural 16 for, for Arok, so... I turn back around I... slowly. <laughs> I, 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 fucking, I fucking freeze because my hand goes off. Now... That wasn't me, but I do have a question. <laughs> if you don't well, mind. That, that felt very much like a challenge. Yes. Challenge. Yes. Yes. Challenge. Okay. There was something, uh, something about the challenge. How, where do I sign up? Okay. Right now. And then I, I kind of just 
start uh, motioning to everyone. Move right here, right? out of the way. His half breed over here thinks he can take me. Oh. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> Does the rest of the group notice? Definitely. You notice whether you give a crap is up to you. So, Can I break away and try to get in between them? Well, it's up to you. I mean, they're just standing there. I All right. Start, well, I start. I'm starting now to, to take out my shield, and then I'm starting to put it on, and then just. Hey, big guy! Do you really want to waste time picking up little kids? <laughs> I guess I mean, Haku. What are you doing? Rules are rules, and he just said that he wanted to challenge me and for my fr spot. From afar, you just see Laga, the champion, look, look back at you. A challenge is a challenge, my friends. Good luck. He does have a point, so let's start moving everyone away. We just got back. Come on, don't be such a hothead. We just got back. I was issued a challenge, and it is my duty, as part of our group, to accept it. No, All I mean, right, accept the challenge, fine. but. Maybe not right away. And I said, yo, you yes. don't know what you're getting into, but you want to do this the right way. Maybe, yeah, maybe after three days, maybe. What, what's, <laughs> what's with this guy? Tonight, ruins over by the cemetery. Uh, say your final goodbyes to. No, well, we won't take you out we'll knock you out i mean Can he will but you'll get your chance tonight by the ruins come on Naku. let's we gotta go celebrate first we just got back let's this guy is not worth your time karim as pulang pantalun uh walk out i mean walk away downtown to do their celebration you look back looking for a rook just pissed off at the the, uh, the, th the, the trouble he's made and you just see a guy running away bye gotta hunt w with a spear anything you want to do between now which is in the middle of the morning till sundown uh, why does it have to be how cool i mean i can probably take on maybe rin i don't know what I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Okay. Um, so basically, I'm spending my whole time just doing that, planning for my death. And I'm... <laughs> it is like non-lethal combat us. though, but yes, sure. Pulang uh, Pantalun, is there anything you'd want to do between, uh, aside from uh, having a feast, I just, uh, Hakum is just uh, s sitting down in some corner and sharpening his spear. <laughs> just the whole time. <laughs> just the whole time. Like, he does not care about revelry or anyone. He just wants to get it over with. Magat just having fun. Because <laughs> he enjoys being with the group and he enjoys the revelry he enjoys the hunt and the, the adventures but he's just right now is the time for celebration so he's he's just having fun enjoying the attention and just you know mm -hmm. rin is just like on the side table nursing whatever liquor there is and just looking at everyone and, f and for Rin and Lixie, with your passive perceptions, you would um, also notice Laga talking to like the authorities, overhearing that uh, we're expecting the invitation to come soon. You you're not really sh sure, absolutely sure what the invitation is, but you do know about the this tournament that happens every few years. It's like uh, champions and their groups from different towns, villages, where where the champion takes um, up to four people as their team in for for an exhi for exhibition battles, something like that, something to that extent. You're not really sure. You haven't been there. Uh, you do know that Laga uh, won the last one, which is 
around five years ago. So he's he's a bit on the older side, but not too old that he still can't be champion and perform champion duties and stuff like that. But yeah, that, that's about what you hear. Um, so, um, I whisper over to Lexi. Invitation? Do you think that has something to do with the tournament of some sort? You know, the one with the champions? Probably. Probably. Well, I don't really care as long as no one tries to kill us at this part. Well, there is that new one who wants to, do, who wants to join yeah. us. Oh, you mean the half-breed? He doesn't look like he can kill anything. Yes, the half-breed. I haven't seen him around, actually. I don't think he barely, he hardly goes out of his house. Well, we just have to clean up the mess after the battle, I guess. Alright, so you spend the whole af day after day of partying. We skip to sundown, uh, where map time. Maps, map time. Maps, maps. You guys are on uh, top of the ruins. On the hill, Hakum uh, slowly walking up. You see the four of them. Anyone I'm, saying anything? I'm just, I'm just moving. I'm just moving slowly, shield at the ready, and uh, taking my spear from my from its holster, and moving into position, waiting for my quarry. <laughs> Is there anywhere you uh, prefer to be? Um, I'll stay at the end of that road. I think that's like the end, the the kind of like the entrance of the ruins. Also, no, like no close quarter combat hiding, just there. <laughs> yeah, just there. Like I'm gonna wait for him to get here. I want to see. I want him to see what he's up against. Uh, as you go up, uh, Karim, you suddenly. Uh, feel and feel a hand touch your shoulder, and, and and as you look back, it's Laga, and I assume you like lose your panties now. <laughs> <laughs> and he just says, "Good luck, my friend, and remember, you don't necessarily have to fight a whom. You can challenge anyone. I don't want to be part of this. I'm not going to watch this, but." Good luck. Remember, the loser has to be knocked down, knocked out of the group. Maybe you're my new teammate. And leaves. Good luck to you as well. <laughs> Wherever. <laughs> also, can I just add right now that I brought with me a makeshift, a makeshift shield? That's a, a poor, poor imitation of somebody had a shield with you guys, right? That's me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a, poor, oh, a poor imitation oh, of your no. shield that is made of wood <laughs> and uh, a poor <laughs> wood carving imitation of Magat's short sword. And I have my, my, <laughs> my makeshift uh, Pulang Pantalon uh, outfit with me. <laughs> it's just in Pulang Panta cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, as, as, I, as I walk to the ruins, I'm gonna talk to myself and say, um, um, Hakum kind of moves like slow, so if I follow it with how Magat works, maybe I can like find an opening, then the speed of Rin, maybe. Yeah, yeah, this will work, this will work. Right. Whew. Then I make my way. I see. I, I see him approach, and I put the end of the 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 other end of my spear down on just rest it on the ground. So you're ready, half breed. Karim, up to where do you want to go? Where am I there? I don't see. Oh, oh my God, that's my midi. Ah. <laughs> 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 it's so cute. Ah, it's alive. There you um, go. It's alive. I, I'm just there. I, I'm just 
by there. Up to here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and everyone else is just watching from from here, top of rock. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, right. Hakum, what are you saying? I I Let's just uh, I just glare at uh, Karim and I say, "Are you ready, half breed?" You're mean, you know. <laughs> Well, if you uh -huh. weren't so weak and and made our race look disgraceful, I'd be kinder to you. I'm I, I, I'm not I'm not weak. Look, I I'm wielding a sword and a shield just like you guys. You couldn't you couldn't even you couldn't even stand up to me properly when you issued the challenge. You look like a sniveling baby. How do you expect to uh, how do you expect to be part of our group and do the things that we do if you can't even stand up for yourself? All right, uh, I'll, sh I'll show you. Uh, I'm going to move a little bit forward so I can elevate myself up. How come you're getting How about this? I'm just going to yeah, walk sure. up. How about, how about this? Like walk up to up. him? No, like, because <laughs> there's like a level difference. Yeah, just the on, the, on the, on the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about this? Is this? You just told me to stand up. <laughs> did, did you mean something else? And then Magat's about... gonna yell. Magat's, Magat's gonna yell. Yo, Hakum, knock him out quick. We can get back to the party. Let's go. Buff out your chest. Get in your stance. Stop looking pathetic. And let's get this over with. All right. <sighs> let's go. I, I, I kind of clang. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> clang because it's wood. So... <laughs> So, you literally ah! knock on wood. <laughs> I'm knocking on wood. Let's go. Uh, I, I get, I get, re I get ready myself. I lift my spear, put my shield up, and I get ready. All right. Uh, who's gonna start? Uh, Anyone gonna want to do anything? I'm just gonna. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm gonna charge right away. I'm gonna shield bash. All right. Um, okay. Everyone. 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 Roll initiative. Oh, everyone. Everyone, just just roll ah. for the sake of if anyone wants to interfere. I'm using a red dice because uh, sixteen, mm -hmm. thirteen, mm -hmm. Karim, eleven, eleven. Uh, so it's Hakum first, and then so it's a sixteen and an eleven. If you if you're interfering, just know where you're supposed to be and tell me if you're interfering. So if you're interfering between Hakum and Karim, do so in between. Uh, Magat 7. Okay, so I'm assuming Lixi is not going to do anything. Hakum, you see Karim starting to charge at you? Do, do you do anything? Um, I kind of, I charge towards him as well and uh, bash my shield into his just to throw him off balance and then attack him with my spear. Sure. Um, let's say that the shield thing is just a flavor thing. Um, just yeah. roll attack with yeah. your spear. Okay, let's go. Thirteen. Uh, uh, nope. Oh. 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 My my wooden shield does that count up as a proper shield? Yeah, but count it as your like yeah. actual equipment. All right, yeah. then it doesn't hit. <laughs> right. um, okay. Uh, uh, everyone else, I'm giving you the opportunity to react to that before we go to Karim's turn. I I just look impressed. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Kid can uh can can take a hit. Oh hey, oh uh, yeah, cool. Karim, what do you do? Um, as as, as he tries to. To thrust his, <laughs> his spear, mm. I'm gonna just just gonna take the hilt of the of the of the sword and just like hit him in the head because I don't want to. I uh, know not in the head, just maybe in the leg. I don't want to do any damage. I respect you. <laughs> oh, it actually the, the thing is it actually sounds like he's trash talking you. <laughs> Roll your attack. Well, in my head, I'm respecting him. <laughs> roll your attack. Uh, so, so what do I do? Just what roll do a I regular do? attack with the with your actual weapon stash. That's a uh, thirteen. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> 
as as Ha'um just like hit you, you hit him, but he just like looks at you with rage. Ha'um. I, I I just quickly say, what the hell? You're not even taking this seriously, and I thrust again with my spear. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, nineteen. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay. I'm wow. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. uh, does that does nineteen does a nineteen yeah. hit? Um, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. um, I want to. I, I wanna. Uh, Hakum wants to make this hurt. He wants. Uh, m- he wants Karim to know what he's up against. So I'm going to. Um, I'm going to spend oh, a spell God. slot to add Divine Smite. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then I want to... Uh, how will you rule... Uh, how will you rule Legacy of Might? Uh, what's that again? Um, when I make a successful melee weapon attack, um, I can choose to deal the attack's maximum possible damage instead of rolling. But the Divine Smite is also, as soon as I make a successful attack, I can spend a spell slot. Yeah, max out everything. Okay, oh, so so that's uh, that's 12 plus 3, 15 <laughs> plus 16. So 20... 15 plus 16, 31. 15 16, 31. <laughs> describe how you want to do it. <laughs> I, um, so I hit him in a place that I know isn't going to uh, hurt him fatally, but I do it with enough force that he really feels it. Like I take the, I take my spear and I kind of hit him. I hit him in his, uh, in his leg. Yeah, in his And then yeah. I, as soon as it hits, I pump in my divine energy together with the hit. So it kind of burns inside the wound. <laughs> and, and Karim just no. falls unconscious. Puff <laughs> of smoke. Well, I mean, well, that was lame. Is anyone anyone doing anything? <laughs> I'm like, oh shit! I thought I, we, I thought we had a fight. Not gonna lie, I All also right. thought we'd have some sort of fight. <laughs> I... <laughs> that... All right. So it was a lot. Time to go quick. party again. I just I just look down at them and I say, next time, know what you're getting into. And I just walk away. Um, seeing Hakum walk away, I'm just like, oh well, then follows. Jump you, down and Is follow. everyone just gonna leave Karim like lying down there? Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna go, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to him and look at the body. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna loot? The wooden. Oh, God. The... No, 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 no. You're gonna loot his cosplay. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Boom. <laughs> Drag this boy back to his family or put something in him so he can walk back home. Ah, uh, fine. I walk back and then I give him like I give him lay on hands, I give him five five HP. Wow, that's Ooh, wow. surprisingly very generous. Generous. Karim, you wake up? With 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 thinking yes. thinking, Hakum is attacking you with with his hand on your chest. Ah, <laughs> don't <laughs> <laughs> I, I can here. still go. I can I can I go. Can, can still go. Challenge is over. Go home. A hey, big kid, Bonjing. It's done. Challenge is done. You lost. Hi, kid. Let's go, guys. All right. Sure. <laughs> you go home. Go. Defeat, feeling okay. defeated. Uh, you may take a short rest if you want, because this is just winding down the night. Hint, Fine. hint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <then. laughs> I need the short rest. And uh, Pulang Pantalun just 
goes out to party. What's everyone doing? Is anyone getting drunk? Is anyone blah 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 blah? What? I'm just eating and feeling insulted that I just had to go through that. <laughs> anyone else? Just enjoying the attention again, social butterfly and drinking um, a little bit, not getting too wasted. <laughs> is Slaga around? Slaga is just also partying, enjoying the, you know, just doing the... Did any of us notice um, Laga talk to Karim? Yeah. Because like, we were on top. But but you did. But like, you know he's like that. He's just, you know, like Friendly. charisma maxed out kind of guy. Oh, okay. Um, I decide to hand like Laga more wine and stuff. Yeah, it's just like you know, gets it with a smile and stuff like that. Every now and then you see someone throw a rose at him, picks it up, smells it. You know? Oh, that and... guy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and as you wind down the night, everyone, you know, you start to get tired. Um, and suddenly, you hear some heavy footsteps arriving from the edge of town. It's not like a giant or anything, but it's Karim, you also hear this, because the town hall is like that big place there. That's where everyone's coming from. Mm -hmm. Here's where you fought, and it's coming from like the the forest here, the foresty area here, and your house is like here. So you're actually nearer to it. What's everyone doing? Oh, if we hear it, I want to look out and see what it is. Do we know what it uh, is? It's kind of far, so I mean it's alarming enough that everyone's like, "What's going on?" And everyone, qu everyone goes quiet. Laga, still with a smile on, just but you know, and Laga signals you to go. All of us, so we follow Laga. It's the pagani lixi who goes first, but I mean, I'm, I'm gonna check it out, but I'm gonna hide from. The pantalons, pantalons. Uh, Cause what happens is you're actually closer, so you'd be like up to here before they get there. Karim, you see this? Everyone else, you're kind of far, and it is dark. Let's make it dark. Rin and Lixi, you also see this. Um, the other guys from afar, you just see figures. Um, for the others that see this, what you see is like these ape-like creatures, kind of gray, um, mu very muscular, walking. They walk sort of like a silverback, the typical gorilla type. Except their appearance is different in that they're very they're very hairy, with lots of fangs, like big fangs going down, some going up, and with like horn-like things, uh, like three here, some going out here, like a lot of horns, essentially. It's like a big gorilla with a lot of fangs and a lot of horns, and um. Every, anyone who sees this, if you want to try to identify them, roll me something like uh, uh, nature or anyone that, that has good history. History is also something. Mm. I'm, oh, I'm rolling history. Then I, I, I see this, right? I'm going to mm -hmm. chime in on this. What's the, what's the check? Uh, history it, or nature? History or nature. It's, uh, yeah, it's my... technically dark. It's dark, dark. But there, there is light from the near, like from the nearby town, that you still can see their silhouettes and everything. Okay. And you would immediately recognize them still. Uh, can I, I cast start... light on the tree trunks surrounding the figures that I see? I just go light. Uh, yeah. Okay. Just to some I got light. a. Just... I got a thirteen on nature. I got sixteen on nature. Who got the sixteen? Karim. Karim. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, Pulang Pantalun with the 13 is your highest. You know of this creature, and it's called the Amomongo, but you're, you don't know much about it. Karim, you, with, with your nerdiness, you actually know about this creature, and you know that they're, they, they have this insatiable appetite, and you know that they're always looking for food. The weird thing is, you know that they're not supposed to be near this area 
you get the sense that something, someone, or an event actually drove them to go here for food, because it just doesn't make sense. They're in a they're in a place where where it's easy to find um, game to hunt. It, it, they shouldn't need to go here, unless they're maybe not hunting for food. Maybe they're actually violent. Scurrying away. Was anyone? They're, they don't look like they're scurrying away. They're just like walking in a mm. in a you, you know the gorilla stance where like I'm the alpha mm. guy kind of thing. They don't look like they're afraid. What's anyone uh, what doing? Where where am I again? You guys are at the back. At the back. And you do see you do see Karim in the front. Well, like not I'm knowing why he's from there. Them. <laughs> uh, can I like? I want to. I, I see Karim is there, and then I see the creatures, and then I'm like, fuck, and I run forward towards Karim as far as I can. All right. Um... And then I. I and then as soon as I get as far as I can, I kind of try and get their attention away from Karim because he's the closest. All right, I'll let you run like dash. Yeah. You, get, you can get up to here. Like you can even get yeah, up to here to divert their attention. Yeah. And at then, that point, uh, I need everyone to roll initiative. Hey. All right, let's go. Um, 20. Karim 20. Rin 21. 18. Uh, I got a 16. Hakum got 16. Mm hmm. Ma got 15. Mm hmm. Ooh. All right, Rin, what are you doing? Oh, not Karim? Okay. Um. Oh, Karim is 20. Rin is 21. All right. Um. Full movement in front of Karim? Is that going to require my full movement? Your full movement? Just movement gets you up to here. Dashing. If I dash, yeah, I can get to, like in, right in front of them. Uh huh. Okay, I'll do that. Um, then wipe out my uh quarter staff towards the ape looking things. Oh, yeah, yeah. You just you already had it out, I assume. Yeah. So you just you know make a pose to try mm -hmm. to protect him. Um, ape one though. He is his turn. What what are they called? Amugus. Among us. It sounds like Among Us. Among Us. Oh, I forgot to roll initiative for Laga. I'm sorry. That, oh, Laga definitely goes first. I'm just gonna back. I'm just gonna retro move him. He also walks it. Cool. Um, Ape one. He's gonna go for a home. Yeah, let's go, bitch. Let's go. He actually can't make it like toward like full movement towards you, so he go he just goes right in front of you and dodges. Okay. Um Karim, what are you doing? Uh I see Hakum running. Uh Towards my direction, I spot him. I say, "I don't think now's the time to challenge again." <laughs> um, <laughs> yo, this kid, <laughs> this kid, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm just gonna stay by Hakum's side. I'm gonna run over there. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can run like right beside him. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna look at Hakum and I'm just gonna. Try to hit the, the thing. Roll your attack against the dodging Amumongo, <laughs> so that's with disadvantage. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Seven. seven. <laughs> with a seven, you just do like this, and like the, the, it's there, <laughs> and you just, it's like way there, and you just. <laughs> I was too fast. If I wasn't holding something in both of my hands, I would face palm so hard right now. <laughs> this one, surprisingly, is just attracted to, with with their alpha male, like you know, we're alpha stuff like that. They're attracted to attack the bigger one, so they kind of ignore Rin, and this one just stands here, ready to attack. You're not sure what it's doing. 
the other one also does the same thing. Oh, oh, the other one can reach Karim. He goes here, looks at Karim, attacks him from the back, flanking. First attack is a 17. That First is, attack? Cut. <laughs> that is for 8 piercing as it's, it bites you. Next attack is a uh, 11 to hit. Miss. And a 10 to hit. Miss. So it bites three you and then you, you feel the... You feel three it, attacks? Holy and then, crap! <laughs> Ah. Ah. No, 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 no. You, you challenge them. Lixi, what are you up to? Wait, wait, wait. Where am I? You are um, right there behind the tree. Short bow. 19 to hit. Uh, nine, nine, 19 absolutely hits. Which one are you trying to hit? Well, the one. Engage with Kareem. Sneak attack. Total damage 11. Mm -hmm. Cool. Right, you it it, it 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 gets hurt, but it's also just you know it's big enough that it, it's tanky. Is what you get? Is, is the feeling you get? Mm, my else? bonus action is so oh, the height. Cool. I assume you move like to here. Uh, home. So seeing that this freaking kid just charged into a into an ape and didn't uh do and didn't do anything i want to try and get up behind him and then can i like can i drag him to like behind me like i want to try and get him by the scruff of his neck and throw him behind me so that i'm the one in front you can actually because this is five feet uh you can move another so this would be 15 feet in which case you can move him here and you can move another 15 to be here is that yeah. what you want okay yeah cool that's it because i don't have uh bonus actions to do anything oh that's just movement uh that wasn't an action that's just 30 feet of dragging someone yep oh okay so i still have an action awesome because okay, I'm, ass so I'm assuming I... he's willing is the thing. Oh wait, are you willing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, pretty much when I was getting hit, my eyes were closed for the whole time. Oh, okay. So okay. Whatever right. happens, yeah, happens. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I use my action to uh, give Karim the rest of my lay on hands, so it's another five HP. All right. That's wow. warm. Then I'll stay where I am. My God. All right. So first, I'm going to yell, uh, Hey, big boy, bonjing, what are you doing? Get back in your house. And I'm going to run full movement. Um, wait, use a movement to run up. Uh, bonus action to blade song. So that raises my AC plus three. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then action lava plume on. Wait, wait. If you're just gonna run, like not dash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's thirty feet. You can just get here. Okay. So and then weapons out. Mm -hmm. uh, bonus action blade song to raise my AC up. Mm -hmm. And then I'll cast lava plume on the in between the two apes. Do you not need a hand for lava plume? Um, I have warcaster. Okay, cool. So, uh, what's the range? The range of Lava Plume is 120. Cool, anywhere. Which yeah. one are you hitting? So, uh, I'm putting it, it says here, you, um, any um, creatures five feet away from it get damaged. So, I want to put it in the middle of the two. Here. Of the two. Of these two. Two apes. Yes, yes, that one. In the middle of those two. Sure. What's so, the, is it a is it safe? Deck save DC 13. Oof, that's the wrong thing to pick. Oh, are they Dexy? They rolled uh, 22 and a 20. 
Oh, oh man! Oh. They just yeah, damn. So no damage, right? All right. Okay, so that's my turn. Cool. Um, his turn. Goes in the middle of the prey. Laga makes an attack. That's a natural three. Makes another attack. That's a natural seven. Oh god. Oh no, our leader. Oh wait, seven. Oh He's yeah, drunk. So, still misses. As you see him go on, smiles at everyone, just but but not hit anyone. No. <laughs> 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 Rain, what do you do? I'll go behind the closest one to me, which I think. This one, yes. Yeah. So I'll use my quarter staff and hit it. Yeah, really it's a three. Five. Get six, plus one because flanking. Eleven. Plus a plus one because flanking. So twelve. S- still, it's like it's big enough that like you hit it, but it, it doesn't do any damage to it. Um. Just natural muscularness. Yeah. So an arm strike. Seventeen. Seventeen hits. So that is a one d four. Four five seven. seven. You do hit it for seven. As you hit it with the other end of the staff, and you hit its back leg, and you see it cause some pain, but like not a lot. Anything else? Um, I show I shout to Karina, go home. All right, um, Rin, uh First one is attacking Karim with oh. advantage. Uh, with with oh no, it's Hakum now. The yeah, <laughs> it, uh, Amomongo number one is attacking Hakum with flanking. That is a twenty-two to hit for the first attack. It's as it bites you for six damage, and then do does two swipe attacks with its big arms. First one is a thirteen to hit. Nope. And the second one is a twenty-one to hit. Hit. Twenty-one to hit does oh d eight wow. Does eleven. Uh. Slashing damage because it actually has claws in its arms. Whoo! That hurt. That hurt me a lot. This one though, uh, this uh, it, it looks back because of the lava thing that just happened that it that it had to dodge, but it's now looking at Laga. That's him. Natural one. Just tries to bite him. Bites, bites on its shield and does two swipes, also blocked by his shield. Makes a smile. <laughs> <laughs> Other one is a. Oh, uh, that's a 16 because it doesn't hit. Uh, that one hits. That one also hits. As it tries to bite, he turns around, blocks it, blocks the other bite with the shield, but as it is blocking, blocking that shield, the, the two swipe attacks hit him in, in the torso. Um, Karim. Alright. Um. Uh, hmm. What can I do? Uh, I don't. <laughs> uh. Actually, everyone's telling Karim. me to he was go supposed home. to go in the middle, so I'm just going back to him. Yep. Everyone's telling me to go home. Um, I'm gonna move far back. I'm gonna use my movement to go back, and as I'm doing so. I, I know, but I can help. I, look, I'm gonna throw my the sword. Whoever <laughs> ate thingy, I can help. <laughs> throw it. I'll let you do a same as a dagger throw at that. that that's a so I'll, dex. So plus my dex. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> As just I get up. <laughs> and proficiency, <laughs> so yeah, five. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> yep, nope. Let's see. I try to shoot. Mm. That yeah. was a seven, and I hide again. Right, roll yourself. I'm gonna ask for it later. Hakum, what are you doing? 
Um, I was hit really badly. <laughs> like really badly. Oh my god, that hurts so much. <laughs> and, and probably got hit by my sword as well. <laughs> so I feel like I'm gonna go down. So I'm gonna try and take one of these things with me. So the one that hit me, I want to try and hit him with my spear. Sure, the guy with that hasn't been hit. Yeah, the the one that took the dodge the first time. Yep. No, it's an eight. Nope. It's just big. <laughs> Damn these rolls, man. Yeah. So next turn, I'm probably gonna die, but it's, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> As you do that, Lago also looks at you. Hakum, run away, my friend. <laughs> and then, um, who, who's next? Uh, Aku Magat. Yo. All right. Can I move uh, in melee range uh, with a, the ape in the center near, uh, in between Hakum and Laga? Yep. Like behind it. Okay. Here. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're positioned in the way that you can only get plus one with the flatmate, but okay. Yeah, that's fine. So uh, I'm casting Booming Blade, which is a weapon attack. First, mm -hmm. with my Chris. Mm -hmm. uh, fuck this, man. Eight to hit. Our <laughs> <laughs> rolls. Oh my god. <laughs> and one dies right now. It's because of your rolls. So, so, so I, I guess, I guess, booming glade does not trigger does because not I don't. <laughs> it does not. It's not boom. Um, Dudes. bonus action knife offhand with a baladao. Yeah, sure. Nine to hit, mother. Uh, We're I'm, all I'm... drunk slightly. That's, no, that's one, my turn. no one even needed to get drunk. Okay, cool. Um, it's back to his turn though. Um, La Laga's turn. Just goes to attack on that guy. That is that's one hit, and he does. You just see him use this sword that, be, as he swings it, it glows red, like molten red kind of thing. Just it's a, and you oh. and you hear it searing as it hits the guy. <laughs> it's one of those ASMR. <laughs> Heated knife. Yeah. Cool. Heated knife That's versus versus gorilla flesh. Rin, what are you doing? Um, same thing with my quarter staff on the same ape. All right. Twenty-four to hit. Mm -hmm. Hits. Um, roll the second one first, then roll damage. Yeah. 17, 18, 19, 20. Twenty-two to hit. Mm -hmm. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten total. Mm -hmm. All right. As you hit it, <laughs> you you kind of feel you kind of see the the amumongo kind of limping a bit. Not too much, but it's hurt. Kind of hurt. Kind of hurt. Yep. Um, and it's the first one's turn, which is still attacking uh, La Laga. It's, it's... Oh, as you see the bite miss, but then suddenly the swiping, the huge arms with claws in it, like, <laughs> and you see it starting to rip his armor. Um, Karim, what are you doing? You're, you you see your idol getting hurt, like badly, uh, not super badly hurt, but wounded. I'm gonna go over my my throne sword, and I pick it up. Can I still make it towards? Uh, you can Naga? make it here. Pick it up and uh, oh, if you made it, if you walk sideways, yeah, you can make it here so that you can attack that guy. And you have yeah, plus so one. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna attack with the sword. Natural one. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> as, as the next ape attacks Akum. I'm Natural dead. one. That hits. That doesn't hit. Uh, it was like a 20 plus and natural one in a 10. That is for four. Uh, sorry, five plus nine slashing damage to Haku. Oh, 
as it's and then also this big tiefling and you just hear like I say I told you my friends run and it is um, the other guy's turn which is this guy uh, also attacking Laga that's a hit that's a natural 20 that is ah. hit natural 20 ah. actually has a trait that gives him another d8 for the natural 20 oh god oh, no, no. oh god Uh, at this point, uh, you see him bite. It just <laughs> armor's almost falling off. The second swipe oh. misses. The second swipe just as as he's walking, as he's hold, kind of holding into it. The second swipe just buries in. At, at this point, Laga looks really, really bad, but still up. Um, that's the last guy. Let's see what are you doing. Close this one, close this one. What was your stealth roll? It was a nine. Do some damage, please. Come on, let's go. A seven, what is happening? What is Se happening? No, just out of. Um, oh, bonus action. Oh, bonus sorry. action. Quick okay, finger. I'll let out a noise. It gives Maggot advantage. Gives Maggot advantage. Cool. Um, a home. That's it. Uh, how do I do a death save? Just roll a d20. You can roll a physical one, it's easier. Because otherwise you have to zero 13. your life in D&D Beyond and then oh. wait for the... I, 13. That's a, that's a plus. Alright. Uh, Magat, you have advantage. Alright. Um, booming Blade. Mm -hmm. uh, so here's the attack with advantage. Come on, 21. Finally! Yes, let's go! How much Finally! The advantage. Oh my mm -hmm. god. Uh, damage is 8 piercing damage, and the booming blade, um, if it moves, it takes another 1d8. So right. one, wow. if it moves, yeah, it right. takes Bonus action attack? Bonus action attack, the Baladao, no longer advantage, right? No longer. Normal roll now? Yep. Okay. Uh, oh, shit. 24. Yes. Uh, three piercing. Uh, I mean, yeah. It's, it's starting <laughs> to look bloody now as you as you hit it twice with, with your weapons and you see blood starting to drip from its bicep that kind of is like as big as you. Um, uh, Laga's turn. Tries to hit the same guy. Nope. That is. Wow. <laughs> That's a six and a seven, plus whatever. Um, yeah, just tries it. Does it doesn't do anything? Um, Rin, what are you doing? Mm, same thing to the same ape. Oh wait, sorry. Oh no, yeah. Haku, Haku was down. Yeah, all right. Yeah, uh, Rin. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirteen. For the first attack? Nope. That is definitely not not a hit. All right. Uh, so it's like just doing the same thing, uh -huh. still not noticing you. Uh huh. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I'll just uh, no, like shout uh, to the leader, like get away. He stay safe. When the ape walks up to where Karim is. Now in melee with Karim and um, uh, Laga. First attack is uh, really low. Also really low. 18 to hit. To whom? Karim. That hits. Oh my god. That hits. Um, what's your HP? Current? Mm -hmm. 12. That's nine slashing damage. You're good. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Oh my god. All right. Your turn. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna disengage. 
Sure. <laughs> and I'm gonna look over to, towards where uh, Hakum is lying down, and I'm gonna make my way over there. I'm gonna power slide all, all the way there, and I'm gonna reach out for something from my bag. And uh, that's my, cause that that's the my turn, I guess. Cause yep, yep, yep. Cool. Yep, yep. Um, eight number three, which was on a home. Uh, now moves up to you. Oh shit! <laughs> oh god! Th- thanks for trying to help, man. No. <laughs> I appreciate it. Hit. Oh, I was no. about to loot you, Chuck. No, <laughs> it throws at 118 and the, lo- the rest are low. And it's about <laughs> to hit you for some amount of piercing damage. Like. Enough. <laughs> but before that happens, um, Laga uses his reaction to get in between. What is this? And it hits him in the chest, just staring its chest. No. Laga falls down. No. Ah! Oh my God. Ah! <laughs> He, he had 60 HP, guys. It, it, he just took a lot. In, 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 in his... Like, after it hits him, he's conscious for a bit, looks at you, Karim, just hands you the sword. Take this and run. Smiles. <laughs> <laughs> Is he dead? He's saving. God. <laughs> you take it? Assume uh, it's if it's my it's turn, yeah, I'm big, gonna take it. It's big. It's big that no one else has like the the physique to use it. Is the thing? Yeah. Except for Hakum, who's also it. down. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm taking it. <laughs> cool. Um, that's that guy. Uh, Karim, that guy. Other guy. This guy just goes down. Uh, it, he takes damage from your booming thingy thing. If he moves, he moves. Uh, I roll a one d eight. Okay, moves. so I'll roll. I'm ro- I'm rolling the extra one d eight. And booming blade. Uh, two. X two thunder damage. Attack of opportunity. Okay, since Warcaster, I can attack with a cantrip. So I'll booming blade again. Sure. So, uh, nineteen to hit, six damage. Mm-hmm. And then if he keeps moving, I'll roll. I'll ro- I have to roll the additional booming blade damage. Sure, do it. Okay. Uh, you did move four. another square after that. So additional four thunder. Cool. Ah, uh, he's still fine actually. <laughs> you guys are so chunky. He bites down on Laga. That hits. Second attack. Oh shit. That misses. God. That hits. As he pounces down so on Laga's dead. He's head. Dead. And... He is dead, dead. From what you think, Karim, you're just. Nope. He is very dead. He did. Lixay, what are you doing? As you see Laga, your champion, sir, seemingly sacrificing his life to save the stupid kid. <laughs> He's gonna bet the arrow if it hits. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Let the power of anger come. 17. 17 hits? Yes! Seven piercing, three sneak attack, ten total. He's still damage. alive, but it looks really bad. I can say it went through an eye and bonus action. I scream at Hi. Magat and it's blind now. Magat has a damage. Cool. Right. Okay. Uh, Haku? Uh, let me roll. Let's see. 
Come on, BB. Oh, that's a fail. That's a regular fail. Okay, my god, what are you doing? You have advantage on that guy. That's almost dead. Okay, I'll I'll take another booming blade on him. Uh, advantage twenty four to hit. Yep. Four damage, and if he moves, I'll roll another something. Just four. Yeah. Cool. Um, other, other attack. Bonus action offhand. Seven. To hit. To hit. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah um i guess i'm after that i'm I'm looking to the people around me with the champion has fallen and say what are we doing what are we doing and uh, that, ends, that that ends my turn rain what are you okay. doing um i'm engaged with the ape so attacking that one okay oh no you're not it, it, oh, it, I'm not? it moved it moved Oh, which is the one that looks kind of bad at the moment. This one. Yep, I'm gonna run there mm -hmm. and attack with my quarter staff. Mm -hmm. Take so it out. Is, uh, Take it out. Fifteen hits. Just uh, hits. Nine. Running up, you just do a swipe at it and, poof, and you take it out. Awesome. First kill. Oh. One down. Oh man. Uh, you can still move to here no, and the the or here and attack the damaged one. Uh, I'm gonna attack the one near the one on the bottom. Sure. Yes. So, the one that's not hit. The one that's not hit yet. Uh, spend a key point to flurry. So that is two attacks. 21. Mm hmm. That is a four, so no. Mm -hmm. Damage? Three, four, five, six, six. Cool. Anything else? Nope. Uh, nope. Seeing that it's uh, the other one died, this one just dashes uh, to this point, seemingly just getting... Because this is like a... Not like a restaurant, but like a place that sells food. Well, well fine. A rest, like, you know, uh, <laughs> a food court-like <laughs> thing. <laughs> A food like court like Karinderia. And, and you, you see it kind of afraid that one one of them or died or kind of doesn't care and it just starts looting the food. Uh, Karim, what are you doing? Um, right in front of me is is Hakum and uh, Laga. I'm just gonna say, help! I, I, I need help! And then I'm gonna get the potion and start. I don't know how potions work. I'm gonna try to smear it on face off. <laughs> Of Hakum. <laughs> <laughs> Is it supposed to be dry? Um, that's a normal healing potion, so 2d4 2D plus 2. Mm -hmm. That's a 4, that's a 6. Sure. Total of hit plus 6. Please work, please work, please work. This guy does disengages and bolts to here. It's it. I'm still gonna hit the running one. 14. Uh, misses. Barely misses. Bonus actions to give Akuma an advantage. Uh, Hakum, you're... You're on the ground, but you're good. Um, if I get up, am I... Can I follow that thing? You Do can... I have enough movement to follow that thing? With, with regular movement? Yeah. Nope. After you, I get up. You get up to here. Uh, okay, so if that is the case, then uh, I will just use my action to drink my other potion. Mm -hmm. And then I will use my free action to tell that dirty, dirty monkey that I'm <laughs> over here, you motherfucker. Just look sad, dude. <laughs> Magat, what are you doing? Uh, running after that guy that just is disengaged. You got him, yep. Booming blade, attack, 23 to hit, 6 damage. If he keeps moving, I'll roll again. I'll roll additional. And then um, bonus action, baladao stab, uh, 18 to hit, 2 damage. All right. All right. Um... 
at this point for the for the sake of expediency uh you guys are ca- like uh Hakum kind of healed he's he's kind of doing well the rest haven't really taken damage the 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 two monkeys are like beefy as shit and are just running to mm. get food and will just run away so and dashing and everything so what happens is they just do that and like you try to get them but they're just just booking it like you could follow them if you also just run and not attack but having to uh, needing to attack they eventually just get away and you are now faced okay. with a dead laga and uh and the karim who has the sword of the champion i i can i can still chase them i know i know i i can I kind of, I kind of limp towards Karim. Give me the sword. All right, I, I give it. I take it. And you, Go. and all of you know, because you are Go. from this place, that there is a. Ritual that decides the next champion. So, yeah. I am in so much pain. Does anybody have anything that can help me out here? I just walk up to Akum and hand him my potion here. I was planning to use it on our leader, but. It's not gonna help. I drink it. Two D four plus two. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I don't mind this at all. I'm just gonna walk straight to the body of uh, Laga. Just keep walking towards Laga. Yeah, Maggot's gonna go for the body of Laga and uh, just happy-go-lucky demeanor is gone and he's now dead serious and he's just ignoring what's going on. He's just gonna go for, try to pick it up and just say, help me with the body. We have to bring it in. And I try to pick him up and I just try to bring him to where we bring The, the cemetery beside that. <laughs> and as you do that, uh, that is where we will take our break. Are those tapes, ah, JR? Dude. I'm a Mongo. They're here. Tisina Una. It's in page 238. <laughs>